Hi guys, JP from FSI panel. On this video, I will show you how you can fly quick approaches using the Fly-by-Wire A380 on MSFS 2024 using FSI panel 2024 Advanced Edition. So I will uh, guide you step by step and you will see that within a few seconds you can be flying your ILS approach or any kind of approach you would like to fly. So let's start from the beginning and see how we can do quick approaches. And before I forget, please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. All right, here we go. The first thing you want to do is of course to select a fly-by-wire, any livery you like, and then select the airport where you want to train. So let's try today an approach in uh, London Gatwick. So let's choose Gatwick and we could choose runway, for example, two six left. Oh, the wind is 030 at 9 knots, so let's take a uh, rather 08 right. Good, and start flight. Now the airplane will be positioned on the runway, and then when this is done, we will continue. All right, here we are, ready to fly, and I'm on my Airbus A380. Here, as you can see, I just loaded the aircraft, so I did not set anything myself. And what you want to make sure is that you have your four engines running, that you have your IRS aligned, and now we need to do a couple of things on this aircraft. Because we cannot read the MCDU on any Inibol's aircraft, unfortunately, we have to preset some stuff. So let me show you exactly what you need to do. The first thing you want to make sure is that your aircraft is not overweight. So in order to do that, just go into your EFB and then you can load your aircraft as you like. On the third icon right there, you can select any fuel you want. So you can see that right now I have 100 tons of fuel. So if I want to do training flight, I don't need that amount of fuel. So I will reduce it to something more realistic. Instant refueling and you can press on the play button here and that's it. You have the correct amount of fuel. The same thing applies for the payload. If you're not happy with the number of passengers and your zero fuel weight, you can change it again by just making sure you're instant and press on the button to load it. You can change anything you want, make sure your aircraft is within the envelope, then that will help FSI panel setting the approach for you. Okay, this is done on the EFB. Another thing you wanna do is to make sure in the init page of your MCDU, just go init, and we need to type in only these two items here to make sure we don't get stuck later on. So here we are just going to put our airport where we're standing at right now, which is Gatwick. And to destination as well, we are just going to put Gatwick. That's it. So now we are ready to use FSI panel. I will not set any QNH. I will not do anything on the overhead. I'm ready. So as always with FSI panel, make sure you open the in-game model. When you see the message, Connecting, now you can go ahead and start FSI panel. Okay, FSI panel has started initializing the variables. You can check that the fly-by-wire A380 has been detected and we are on the correct runway. Runway 08 right as an ILS, so that's cool. So we can use it. And we are going to put the aircraft on a long final. So when we do that, we expect the aircraft to be at eight miles final, as you can see here on the summary at 2,500 feet. So when we press move aircraft, then FSI panel will start working. So make sure you do not interfere with the aircraft and you just follow whatever FSI panel tells you to do. So let's click move aircraft and see what happens. So now you can see that the flaps are moving to full and FSI panel tells you preparing your aircraft, make sure your hardware flaps lever is set to full as well. So I have a TCA captain Airbus, so I make sure that I set as well my physical lever to flaps full. Once the flaps are at full, then FSI panel will give the next instructions, which is very straightforward. Set your trust lever to climb detent. So here we just need to make sure we are going to climb detent. Once this is done, FSI panel will continue preparing the approach. So now you will see that the airspeed will increase, but the aircraft is stationary. This is completely normal. And once we have 130 knots, the aircraft will go in the air. So during that phase do not interfere you can see that the correct QNH has been set and now we are reaching 133 and we will go in the air so now FSI panel will work on the automation autopilot will be engaged vertical speed and the only thing we need to do now is wait 
So you can see we have auto brake two speed, vertical speed, heading, and the aircraft is descending toward the uh, target altitude of 2,500 feet. And that will be when the aircraft is ready. FSI panel will set the light, will set everything for you. Arm the speed brake, flaps full, the gear is down, and now the only thing FSI panel is waiting for is the aircraft to stabilize at 2,500 feet to give you the controls. Then we will need to program the approach, very straightforward, so I'll show you that. And we'll be ready to fly our approach, so within around one minute, we can fly an ILS approach in Gatwick. So we are reaching 2,500 feet, so we're expecting now FSI panel to tell us that everything is ready. So we should see that right there, aircraft is ready. Insert approach in the MCDU and switch beacon light off to take control. Perfect. So now very straightforward, you can go to a departure, so the flight plan page, click on Gatwick, and now you can select your approach. So we are on runway 08 right. We are doing an ILS 08 right. That's all I need, and now I can insert it. Okay, so now my aircraft has the ILS inserted. I can press LS on both sides. And as you can see, we have a correct indication. So this is basically the only thing you need to do. What you can do as well later on is to correct with a direct to Gatwick, the next waypoint in front of you to make sure in case of you go around, you have the correct go around path in the MCDU. And as well, you can see enter destination data. So this is not really, uh, this is nice to do, but if you want to fly quick, you don't need to do it. But if you want to do it, you just go here under the performance page, approach, and then you can enter the wind. So we saw that the wind was quite uh, strong today. I think 090 at something like 20 knots. And outside air temperature, two degrees, and the QNH was 1033. Enter. Perfect. And now you can set your minimum if you want. We are comf full and we can activate the approach. If you activate the approach, then you'll be able to use the manage mode. So now if I go manage mode, the aircraft is flying the correct speed, which is 127 plus 5, 6 in that case, 133. So this is what the aircraft is flying. Okay, so I'm ready to fly. So the next thing I need to do is switch the beacon light off. Here we go. And now FSI panel will tell me, you have control, I can arm the approach, put the second autopilot. We have localizer captured. Glide slope is coming, and as you can see, FSI panel has switched on the, back, the beacon light automatically for you. That's it. Now, if you plan to do a go around, make sure you select the next waypoint in front of the aircraft, which is right now the runway. So we'll put the runway, and then from present position, direct to, and insert. When you do that, you lose the approach mode, so make sure you just click approach mode again, and here we go. So now, in case I go around, I will have my go around in the MCDU and the aircraft will fly the correct path. So this is something you can do. If you just want to fly approach, don't worry about the path here. Just do your landing. And if you want to practice some go around, then you can insert as well the next waypoint in front of you. OK, good. So we are on final in Gatwick. Everything is done. You can see that landing memo, no blue. Everything is done. FSI panel has set the aircraft for us completely. So let me uh, fast forward the approach, and then I will show you the landing report and how easily you can repeat a second approach. OK, we just passed 1,000 feet radio altimeter. And now what I will do, I will take the automation off. And we are going to do a long landing on purpose just to see the uh, FSI panel landing report. So I will float a little bit and I will uh, land slightly right of the touchdown zone. So let's do that. For now, I'm flying the correct path and then I will do a common mistake, which is to refuse the ground and do an early flare and float. So here we are coming all good and we will try to land as well slightly right of the center line so that we get a good uh, correction. All right, so the aircraft is very stable, so that's nice. Bit of wind from the left. Now we are getting slightly higher, so that's on purpose. We are refusing the ground. 
just to see the landing report. We will try oh. to keep three white all the way down oh. to landing, and then we will see the landing report. So aiming for the end of the touchdown zone, something like eight to 900 meters, close to 3,000 3, feet. So this is your touchdown zone. Anything further than that, you, know, you need to initiate a go around. So we will try to make it safe, long, but still in limits. So three white all the way, slightly right of center line. We pass the threshold at uh, 80 40, feet probably. 30, 20, retard. And now I'm floating a little bit, retarding, five. five. And as you can see, I'm right of center line and probably 750 meters long. Okay, this is reverse green and we are just going to stop here on the runway and then we're going to have a look at the landing report. All right, here we go. Let's set the parking brake. Done. And now we can have a look at the landing report. All right, so here we get a basic landing information. You can see the landing distance, the rate of descent, and some information about your speed. If you want the full landing report, just click on full landing report, and then you will get everything you need to know. So you can see here, how was my localizer deviation? Here we can see the glide slope deviation. So you can see that on purpose, as we discussed, we stay a little bit high all the time, up to one dot on short final. And we can see that as well later on in here. So let's have a quick look here. We can see the fly-by-wire, the wind, the airport we landed. And we can see that we are just within limit in terms of landing distance. 7.5 meters right of the center line on purpose on safe landing. So this is something I need to train. You can see the rate of descent, which is positive, but still nice. And we can get here the aircraft weight, the date of the flight, the flaps full. So we landed with flaps full, auto brake two. When the autopilot was disconnected, at what speed we crossed the threshold. We can see our maximum localizer deviation, the maximum glide slope deviation, the maximum rate of descent. So basically this is uh, the full landing report. If you want to, uh, to save those reports or print them, just click on this button on the top right corner here and then the landing report is in your database. So if you go into FSI panel and in a setup and you go to landing report, then you're gonna see your landing report. And anything white is within limit, amber, something is just about right, but a mistake. And when it is red like this, you have to correct something. So you can click again on the last landing report, you will get the weather you flew basic information, you can open the landing report again. And now this time you have a print button if you want to print that landing report. All right, so that's about it. So let's try now a second approach. I uh, will show you how you can position yourself on the left hand vectors, let's say for the ILS in Gatwick. See my aircraft is still with flaps full on the runway. We just landed basically and you will have two options. If you want to repeat the same landing, you can use the uh, flow menu. So you call it from the, the keyboard you, that you selected and then you can go after landing if you plan to taxi the airplane to a gate. Or you can click on repeat same training and FSI panel will put the aircraft again for you at eight nautical miles. For now, I want to show you something else. So let me put FSI panel again and I will try a vectors to final. So what we want to do now, let's say the left hand vectors for the ILS runway 08 right. And this time we plan a flaps tree landing. So FSI panel will take that into account. Vectors, and we should be at eight nautical miles, 2,500 feet established. So this is a flaps one configuration for the initial part. So let's see if that works. Move aircraft, we go back in the sim, and now FSI panel will move the flaps to one plus F, asking you to set as well your physical hardware flap lever as well to the same setting and then remember as well one thing here if we forget here to set departure origin origin sorry and destination we're gonna be stuck so I'm going to make the mistake here to show you how you can mitigate that if you forget it so I don't do it on purpose and now I can set my trust lever to climb detent so make sure your auto your parking brake sorry is release and here we go climb detent the aircraft would start to accelerate again. 
So now what we are expecting is the gear to come up. We should have the auto brake set. The light will be set. The lights will be set accordingly. Let's see that happening at 130 knots. Here we go. You see the gears going up. Now FSI panel is taking care of the automation. You can see the indicated airspeed adding. The aircraft is descending. And if we look up, we have the lights set. Everything is done for you. Now we are stuck. So as FSI panel will not work on the MCDU here, this is the only place you can start working while FSI panel works as well on its side. So now going down to 2,500 feet. So what I was telling you is if you forgot to put from N2, now you cannot anymore. And now if you go to your flight plan, you cannot put any arrival. So you're gonna be kind of stuck. So here the idea is to make a direct to and insert direct to the airport where you want to fly. For example, enter. Insert. Now that I have Gatwick here, now you can see FSI panel is ready. So now I have Gatwick. So what I need to do here is press there and you need to tell that this is my new destination. And new destination is Gatwick. So that is something you need to do again. Okay, so we are going to do Echo Golf Kilo Kilo, enter. So now I have a new destination, insert. And this time I can again insert my approach. So I tried ILS, temporary, insert. Great, now what we could do is direct to Fox Fox 08 right. Insert. When you do that, make sure you go back to heading mode because we are flying right now on vectors. So any direct on the MCDU will trigger the LNAV and you don't want that for now. So this is something you do. And then performance page, very straightforward. Again, if you want to set anything here, do it. Otherwise, just go and fly. Just activate the approach and we are ready. So now I'm ready again. I am taking my beacon light off. Here we go. You have control, approach, approach, or second autopilot. Localizer is armed, glide slope armed, and we are in a perfect position to establish ourselves on the uh, final for runway 08 right. So this is how you can fly approaches, quick approaches using the FSI panel 2024 advanced edition and the beautiful fly-by-wire A380. I hope you liked the video. If you have any question or comment, please drop it in the section down below. I see you very soon for another video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Bye bye.